Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. And this is our lilac bush. She's on her, she's been, we purchased her about two and a half years ago. We finally put her in the ground last year and she's tripling in size in the torpedo pot. Since then, I've learned to appreciate bushes. Um, every time, you know, we've had them after a certain period of time, they die because the grounds aren't sustainable. You know, we poison so much of the, uh, of the soil. And we put her in a torpedo pot and this little girl took off. But let me tell you something. I love it in a torpedo pot because I get to smell the fragrance from this bush. It's amazing. It must blossoms at least three times a year, just continually. And look at the flowers about to come on this thing. Aren't they beautiful? They are really beautiful. Amazing, this lilac. Let me tell you something, the pot will grow your plants. It's designed to grow any plant you want. Remember now, most, the, because the grounds are hampered, their ability to, to be robust, to produce food, to grow plants have been hampered because, I mean, we're wasting and throwing so many things in our waters and our lakes and our streams and we're polluting our soils, you know? And so, and not only that, but our understanding of soil science is just so poor. Um, we throw all type of chemicals in our food like we do in the agricultural community. Let it grow. Let it go and let it grow. I want you to learn to let your food go so that it can grow. It wants to grow. It wants to give you all the beautiful flowers and flavors and textures and colors. Rather be cannabis, I'd rather be just a simple little herb. Your torpedo pot will do the job for you. Well, I'm gonna enjoy another season of this beautiful plant. And I think I'm gonna get more. Um, and let it sit in the torpedo pot. I just added some more soil to the base of the pot. And that's all I did this year. I put in a new feeding stick also, the black feeding stick. We recommend you change those at least once a year. And I put a new feeding stick on this and it did just fine. It did just fine. Some of your feeding sticks might go about a year, two years, depending upon the water quality. Your water delivers um, a certain, uh, delivers water to you at a certain quality. And if some of it has particulates in it, those particulars will clog up the feeding stick. But sometimes the feeding stick will last you for a long period of time, depending upon your soil quality, but you shouldn't have to worry about it. But this feeding stick, we replaced it because we want consistent watering across all of our planters. And that's what we do, consistent watering. But uh, yeah, that's amazing. That is an amazing, amazing plant. Talk to you guys later.